tsunamis, one of the deadliest forces of nature. Today we delve into the horrifying story of the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, a catastrophic event that shook the world. Get ready to witness the unimaginable destruction and learn how we can prevent such a disaster from happening again. Imagine this, waves as tall as 30 meters towering over coastal communities. The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami remains the deadliest in recorded history, claiming the lives of approximately 230,000 people across 14 different countries. Its devastating impact is forever etched in our collective memory. Unlike regular waves, which are caused by winds and tides, tsunamis are triggered by the tremendous displacement of water. In the case of the Indian Ocean tsunami, it all began with a colossal undersea megathrust earthquake measuring a staggering 9.2 magnitude. This seismic event occurred along a 1,600-kilometer subduction zone, where the Indian plate slid beneath the overriding Burma plate. Can you believe that this earthquake displaced a mind-boggling 30 cubic kilometers of water? That's equivalent to the explosive energy of 5 megatons of TNT, more than twice the total used in World War II. Astonishing, isn't it? On average, two tsunamis strike each year, but it's the rare, highly destructive ones like this that leave us in awe. So why was this tsunami particularly deadly? Two crucial factors played a part. First, the earthquake's proximity to land meant the waves reached the coastlines with incredible speed. Just 20 minutes after the earthquake, the first wave struck the northern tip of Sumatra, instantly claiming nearly 100,000 lives. And within an hour and a half, Thailand faced a similar fate. These waves expanded at a rate of about 500 miles per hour, equivalent to the speed of a commercial jetliner. But here's the chilling truth. Many of the affected countries were caught completely off guard. At that time, there were no tsunami warning systems in the Indian Ocean, leaving people without any advance notice. The lack of preparation and awareness magnified the disaster's devastating impact. Detecting tsunamis is no easy task. Often, the disturbances occur in deep water where earthquakes may go unnoticed. Even for passing ships, a tsunami forms as a low, broad hump that is barely noticeable. It's only near the coastline, where the water becomes shallow, that the tsunami transforms into those colossal, destructive waves we all fear. So, how can we prevent such tragedies in the future? Experts agree that an effective warning system is crucial. Enter the Pacific Ocean's National Tsunami Warning Center the world's premier system of its kind. Since its establishment in 1967, this center has been tirelessly monitoring the Pacific Ocean for tsunamis, thanks to the Ring of Fire, a region prone to earthquakes and volcanoes. Thanks to the DART system, nearly 40 stations around the Ring of Fire, along with other regional systems, have significantly improved our ability to predict and warn against tsunamis. The success of these systems led to the creation of the Indian Ocean Tsunami Warning System, the Joint Australian Tsunami Warning Center, and the South American Tsunami Warning System. Through international coordination and data sharing, we strive for the earliest possible warnings. Now, I want to hear from you. Share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the Tsunami Warning System? How do you envision its future improvements? Your ideas matter. Together, we can create a safer world, one where communities have ample time to evacuate and find higher ground when disaster strikes. Let's work hand-in-hand hand to prevent future calamities like the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. We appreciate your feedback, so feel free to comment below and let us know which disaster you'd like us to explore next. Stay tuned for our next video as we continue to unveil the untold stories of the world's most devastating events.